Hello, beautiful people. This is John Mark Shaw, and I'm here at the Fairmont Hotel in Dallas, and I am dream building with my mentor, Mary Morrissey, and I'm learning not only how to build my own dreams, but how to support others just like you in building theirs. And I wanted to talk to you today about this principle of being happy now, not only so that we enjoy our lives now, but also because that makes us a match because that generates a magnetic field that will attract to us the life of our dreams, the life where we are loving our life. We can't attract and generate and create a life that we love living by being a person who's unhappy with our present circumstances. That's the thing that gets most people stuck. They start to have a vision for what they would love, but they spend all of their time being unhappy in their present circumstances. So there's a beautiful verse in the Tao Te Ching, a sacred uh, Chinese text, and in verse 44 it says, Be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize nothing is missing, the whole world belongs to you. So beautiful. And I wanted to break down that quote a little bit for you. Be content with what you have. How can we learn to be grateful and content for the present circumstances in our lives? The things that we love, the, the, the family members that we love, the circumstances, our home, our health, some of our successes and wins, but also be content even in the midst of the circumstances of our lives that we don't love. There's a great principle that my teacher Mary also teaches and she, she, she says that the content of your life is the curriculum of your evolution. Another way of putting that is that life is happening for you. It's not happening to you. That there is a lesson, that there is an empowerment, even in all the challenges of our life. Eckhart Tolle says that life will bring you whatever experience is most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. And how do you know that this is the experience that you need? Because this is the experience you're having in this moment, and the entire universe has collaborated to create this moment, the form of this moment, because everything is connected to everything else. It's actually the Buddhist principle of infinite causation, which means that so many things had to happen throughout time for this unique and special moment in time to occur. As, as perfect as this incredible body that we live in, as complex and sophisticated and harmonious. It's a miracle. This moment is a miracle, just like our functioning body is a miracle, just like all of nature is a miracle. So how can we learn to be content for the way things are? And that's the next line, to rejoice, not only be content, be content with what you have, rejoice in the way things are, be grateful for the way things are, even in the midst of the challenge. When we are grateful, gratitude is actually the frequency of broadcasts. If you think about your cable box, gratitude is the frequency that matches the channel of abundance. If we want to attract more good, more abundance in our lives, more money, more love, more health, more opportunity, more business success, more career success, more adventure, more freedom, bigger and better vacations, bigger cars. If we want all of that abundance, being grateful and rejoicing for the way things are is an important principle. When you realize nothing is missing, right? That's a very important point. How can we learn to sacrifice our belief that something is wrong here? that something's going wrong if I have a challenge, if I have a circumstance or condition that I don't love? How can I learn to appreciate, rejoice, be content in this life in the midst of the challenge and to realize that nothing is missing, that nothing needs to change for me to be happy in my life right now? No circumstance, situation, or condition needs to change for me to be happy in my life right now. And if I can reach that empowerment, if I can sacrifice that what I would call lack limitation consciousness, if I can sacrifice the, con the belief or thought that something is wrong, something is missing, then I become a match to the more good that I would love. This principle is illustrated in the quote, in the, in the quote in scripture that says, to those that have, more shall be given. 
and to those that have not, even which they have will be taken away. What that means is, to those that generate a frequency of broadcast of havingness, who are rejoicing in the way things are, who are grateful for the way things are, who are accepting the way things are, those people will attract, will generate a magnetic field which will organize the molecular structure of time and space into the form of a beautiful life that they would love. And so when I realize nothing is missing, the whole world becomes, belongs to me. The whole world belongs to me, the kingdom of heaven, as, as is quoted in scripture. The abundant life that, that I would love becomes mine as I learn to accept, to rejoice, in my life, to be grateful for my life, to be happy now, to not believe that something needs to change for me to be happy. And when I'm happy now, I become the person who is loving my life now. And therefore, I am a match and generating a frequency that is harmonious to the life that I love that has the, the, the more success, the better relationship, the better health. Whatever my vision is for what I would love, I become a match for that vision by being happy in this moment. And how can I learn to be happy and grateful and also really love more in my life? That's the mastery move. I hope this has been helpful for you. My name is John Mark Shaw. I love to serve people into their greatness. If you're interested in learning more, please visit my website at johnmarkshaw.com. Please like or, or follow this, this, this post in this channel if you want to comment about how do you stay happy and content in your present life? How do you appreciate even the little things to maintain your happiness in your present life, knowing that that makes you a, a match to the life that you would love living? Check out my website where I have events every month and have a beautiful and blessed rest of the day and evening. And I'm so happy and grateful you watched today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.